Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. I just reached level 49. What does that mean? That means I have just unlocked all of the tier two items, which is uh, a blessing as well as a curse because in my opinion, the tier two items are the worst out of all of them. A lot of the tier one items are better than them and the tier three items are obviously all the way around an improvement. So yeah, in this video, I wanna talk to you about why the tier two items are so bad because it's actually intended by the developers that they are bad. Some of these were better before the update and have been made on purpose worse. And it's interesting to talk about why. We're just gonna play a bunch of games for fun on nightmare mode. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty. um what do we got we got billy so we're playing nightmare mode with all the tier two items now uh i think obviously i know the title of the video is the tier two items are terrible some of them aren't terrible some of them are improvements of the tier uh, one versions especially the ones that literally are just number increases such as the the candle is literally just brighter. It lasts longer. It prevents your sanity from draining. Obviously, the candle was better. Obviously, the writing book is better, the dots. However, the fact that there are still quite a few items that are like even worse than the tier one and worse than what they used to be uh, is kind of uh, terrible to me. First of all, look at this right here. How pathetic is this flashlight? This, if you compare this to before the update, this is the flashlight we used to have before they added all the items. Before the update, it was way brighter, way better. Now we've actually had confirmation from the devs themselves that they did this on purpose. They made the tier two flashlight worse than the flashlight used to be before the update so that when you unlock the tier three flashlight, it feels like a big upgrade. So they literally made the tier two worse to make the tier three feel better. And I think that's kind of, like uh immediately hits the nail on the head why i think the tier two items feel so bad um because first of all there's a few th there's a few reasons why they feel so bad in my opinion they are the same items we have always been playing with and they're actually in some some aspects they're even worse they're the same items that we have always known whereas the tier one and the tier three are like novel they're like oh these are new items we haven't seen them before okay the ghost is in the garage so um it like makes it it makes it feel more exciting to play with those we got emf5 look at that the tier 2 emf which by the way the tier 2 emf is a total amazing item uh tier 2 thermo you know what i think of the tier 1 thermo i think it's uh the the best item by far to find the ghost room even better than the tier 3 uh and the fact that i say the tier 1 is better than the tier 3 probably you can already know that i absolutely utterly despise the tier 2 the tier 2 is worse in every single way than the tier 1 um and also obviously worse than the tier 3 the tier 3 uh is still very inaccurate but at least it's fast the tier 2 is also less accurate than the tier 3 and it's even slower it's completely horrendous um the tier 2 video cam totally fine and here right here the tier two dots is actually in my opinion candidate for the best tier two item uh because the change from tier one to tier two is such a big upgrade the tier one dots is a complete shit show and the tier two dots is like oh finally we have the tier two dots uh but yeah as i said they actively made the tier two uh flashlight worse they also actively made the thermo worse the thermo this one right here was the thermo we used to have. You just point it into the room and it would give you the temperature. Now you have to wait for like five seconds or I think it's three seconds before you see a value. And that value has a massive range. It can show you anywhere between like plus four degrees or something. Like it is in a, a huge range from what the actual temperature is, which is like ridiculous. Um, so yeah, the tier two, I, I'm, I was sad. I didn't even have it unlocked. I was at level 49. I had the tier two thermo for so long, never unlocked it because I just never planned on using it, but I'm gonna use it for a video titled why the tier two items are bad. Um, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? So we already got EMF. We're gonna get two evidence because we're playing on, um, we're playing on, uh, on the nightmare, of course. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? So the spirit box is good. The spirit box is a 
is just an all-around upgrade and i think it's actually a better upgrade than a lot of people think it is i think the tier two uh spirit box like with the tier one the range is so short that a lot of the time people will be using it in a room with while they're in the room with the ghost but because the ranges are so short the ghost can be on the opposite side of the room and you won't get any spirit box response so people might write off oh it's not spirit box whereas it's actually spirit box but you were just using the tier one version so the tier two has like a, a wider range put not only a bigger range but also a, a higher chance to give you um a response which all around just makes it like way way better so yeah the tier two spirit box definitely gets a seal of approval from me it's basically the same as the one we had before the update uh tier two oh even five again um tier two video cam i don't really mind either way it's like slightly better if you want to use it as your light source like if you want to walk around in the dark with a tier two uh camera it's going to be better but they all show orbs which so like they can't tweak really tweak the numbers like i think the the things that the, the that are different between the video cam tier one and tier two is that they glitch less like the tier two glitches less if there's a ghost like ghost event or a hunt or something which doesn't really matter at all um i'm gonna check for fingerprints using in my opinion the worst item in the entire video game right here this this sucker uh and we're gonna take writing book as well as do we need to do anything i don't know my sanity i'm just gonna take this thing uh tier two head cam good one i didn't even put that on because i just literally unlocked it because this one unlocks at level 49 it is the last tier two item you unlock and a lot of people love the tier two head cam and i'm not trying to knock you it's just not my jam i am proficient enough in the map design or like the layout of the maps that i can walk around in the dark um how obviously if you have to look at the difference you can see the difference clear as day you can see that you can walk around it's like a small flashlight and it, now that i see it again it's been a while since i have used it it's actually a little better than i remember from like using it literally like a month ago or something uh so yeah it, i can see people enjoying this a lot however the reason i don't really like it is because of the way you have to turn it off and on if there was a dedicated button for you to immediately turn off the the, the head cam and turn it back on i would like it way more but because you have to hold your like flashlight button it just leads like this uh it leads to these situations in hunts where you don't turn off your equipment in time and you might get killed for that because it's super super important to turn off your equipment uh, as soon as you break line of sight if you want to get away from the ghost because otherwise the ghost is just going to track your equipment and especially if you're doing something like this like let's say i'm trying to run away from the ghost i turn off my flashlight and then i'm like wait let's so let's say i have my i have my head cam on i run away from the ghost i turn off my flashlight and then i realize oh shit, i have my head cam on if i now oh what the fuck if i now press r to hold and turn off my flashlight head cam you know what happens my other flashlight turns back on because they're both bound to the same exact button so <laughs> in turning off one of them you turn on the other one and it just leads to this fucking like juggle of items that my brain is like i'm already running away from a ghost that's trying to kill me so like i don't know i'm so used to just turning off my flashlight right away that if i then realize oh no i have to turn off my head cam it leads to me dying because like i turn on my other flashlight so yeah that is just if they eventually which i think they might do at some point if they put it on a separate button i like it way more it's just that i like to turn it off because i don't want to run into a hunt and have to like fuddle with the with the buttons to like not die it's just annoying to me um i i understand why they put it on the same button because it works better for uh console players that way uh because obviously console doesn't have as many buttons as uh as computer has but i feel like they could literally easily just like key bind that on on computer like i don't get it okay paramike let's just take uh take the, i think we're gonna get hunted here soon we don't have our secondary evidence or our second evidence it might be a gorio in this case uh which by the way i should really be <laughs> um the tier two tripod i don't like it not necessarily because of the tier two-ness of it i just don't like tripods in general anymore I used to tripods used to be a no-brainer. You just put your cam on a tripod, you take the tripod. Obviously. Why do I not like tripods anymore? Because um I'll show you right here. If you hold this is not the cam. If you hold a cam 
it looks nice and nice and uh, nice and big you can see the the orbs easily if you place it on look at the difference look at what it is right now i place it on this i pick oh whoops i pick it up it's oh god fuck me <laughs> um i'm turning this off before i continue um it is way smaller it's not as bad with the tier two but the tier one it's horrendous the tier one becomes almost it becomes almost impossible to see orbs because it is so dang small um but yeah the difference between this you're still gonna it's not as big as i said but it just makes the, it just makes it slightly smaller it makes it slightly smaller uh, i think here it's only like a five per, oh jesus christ it's only like a very small um a small change but with the tier three or the tier one you can see it obviously you can see how much like smaller they get so i've just like come to learn to not ever take a, a tripod now the the feature that the tier two tripod has over the tier one is that you can move it around i think that might be the most it just it's useless in my opinion i i have i think i've made use of it once uh the only situation what the fuck in which i can see that do something oh it's something no it's not it's just blinking lights is if you have a really large room but all like why is it useless in my opinion because you don't look for orbs in the truck i don't maybe you do i don't almost never because you used to have to do that the only way you could see orbs uh if this was a feature in original phasmo it would be amazing because in original phasmo what would happen is you couldn't see orbs by like holding it in your hand you had to place it and then look in the truck what you had to do then is place it and then look and then you didn't see orbs then you had to go back in move it around and then look again whereas if you had this feature then you could just move it around and that would be way easier however now i literally just pick it up i just pick it up look for orbs this way and then oh i don't see orbs all right i'm done now you can use it to see dots like to see gorio dots or something which we might actually be dealing with here which is going to be kind of um tricky just gonna how is it not hunting yet i feel like i should be way lower sanity like it did a ghost event is it a shade how could it be a shade though what would we be looking for we'll be looking for freezing that's not gonna happen oh it might have roamed here let's see let's see how the what Oh, it's minus seven degrees. Never mind. It's freezing temps. It's definitely a shade. <laughs> what? I didn't realize. This, by the way, is another showcase of why I hate the tier two. I just like have this hurdle in my brain. I know it's a me problem to a certain degree. I hate waiting for this thing, dude. I'm, I'm impatient as fuck. I hate having to hold this button and then seeing a value. Just picking up the, or just even looking at it. You don't even have to pick it up necessarily to see the, the value on the tier one thermo. You could also additionally place the tier one thermo against something and then point a camera at it so that you can see the temperature while outside of the truck. Like there's so many little cool things that you can do with the tier one thermo that just completely fall apart for the tier three or tier two and the tier three that just make it really, look at that range by the way, you see that? It's like minus nine minus eight it's not as i think they might have the same range i think the tier two maybe this is even better wait a minute wait let's see how, how much of a difference of values we get we get minus eight um minus nine is the lowest wait does the tier two have a more accuracy than the tier three because the tier three has a three temperature difference between the values you get what that would make absolute okay there you go so it does gives walk around it doesn't matter it just i i don't want to walk around so it seems like it has the same it seems like it has around a three temperature difference so it isn't worse in that regard than the tier three um but anyway it is almost unless i am like the sanity master it's almost certainly a shade here uh but we should be doing a test we can do an oni test during a hunt let's just break the uh break the mirror here if we pull it up twice and it breaks that means uh, it's probably, uh... It did an airball? Did it do an airball? I don't remember. Okay, do this. Uh, we were uh, super high sanity. 60% sanity? What the fuck? Ow. Okay, normal speed. Not the twins, right? It can't be Oni, you said? Come here. Let's do, uh not a gin either wait what excuse me 
Excuse me? Did we actually get an air ball? I don't remember seeing the air ball, but that might be because I was talking about everything. Um, yeah, it's not an Oni. Is it not an Oni? It's doing some long blinks. It's blinking very fast. It's Wait, what? It looks extremely visible. I feel like it's an Oni, but people said they get an air ball. We did get an air ball. Are you 100% certain about that? Um, is that only not a Jin? It's either an Oni or a, or a Shade. Um, okay, we did. Okay, 100% not an Oni, then we do Shade. Um, okay, you check. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but I don't know why it was so visible then. All right. Uh, it's just that people say that all the time and then it was like last game or something. Anyway, uh, we're obviously going to be doing a bunch of games because I can't talk about any... Um, all of the items in one round without just like wasting a bunch of time and I want to play a bunch of games So, uh, assuming chat was right, this should be a shade There you go. Weird that we got uh, That ghost event at such a high amount of sanity then because we Let's see we lost how much sanity we had to use the mirror like four times before we lost sanity So that means or before it started hunting which meant we were at like 80% sanity when it did that ghost event and it did two ghost events, two, one air ball, one normal. Uh, anyway, that is just, just a little surprising, that's all. Let's go to Ridgeview and continue. Alrighty, um, so, obviously, I think literally everyone can see why the tier 2 thermo is bad. Like, I, I wouldn't even unlock it if I were you. The only reason you would ever unlock the tier 2 is to get the tier 3, because the tier 3 requires you to have the tier 2. Um, another one that's just straight up better, writing book. It's similar to the to the spirit box, it just increases it range, it increases the range and makes it more likely to interact with the writing book, which is just like all around makes it easier, especially if you place two, you get it way faster. As I said before, the dots are just stuck in place, thank you. Uh, the dots is incredible, and I think the other one, so the dots, in my opinion, is one of the best items when you get the tier two, you're like, finally, good God, I can ditch the tier one. Um, I don't have that with many of them. Men with like the photo cam, all it does is make you take, you can take photos faster. Like, yeah, it's, if you're doing like an apocalypse challenge that can be impactful, but otherwise it just like saves you a tiny bit of time. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, they have said in, that they are going to add a quality system to photos that's going to, like, if you have higher tiers of photo cams, you're going to take higher quality photos, which will give you more rewards. So when they add that, obviously there will be a huge difference. But right now, it's literally just like slight quality of life. You can see what you're taking a photo of and that's, and you take them slightly faster. Uh, the Crucifix is another huge improvement. The Tier 1 Crucifix absolutely god awful the range of the tier one crucifix actually you might not have realized that is the exact same as the range of the crucifix we used to have before the update the tier two version is actually better than the tier two or than the normal version of the crucifix before the update because instead of three meters which is what the range used to be it's four meters and it can still be used twice so yeah it's actually better one of the only ones that's like straight up better let's think is there any other item i guess the salt the salt is straight up better than the the item used to be before the update because which that's another one by the way i was going to say that one the dots and the salt are in my opinion the dot salt and crucifix are like the the three items where i'm like finally i've unlocked these ditch the tier one forever never want to see it again especially the salt not only have does the tier one salt have only two salt pals but they're so small it's like so hard to use um it's like really annoying um, the tier, this is hilarious to me. Um, the tier two sanity pills, another example of an item that got worse with this update. All they have done with this, especially if you compare it to the tier one, it's literally slightly faster. They have made it increase your sanity over time rather than instantly. It used to give you sanity instantly. Now it does it over, I think, is it 20 seconds? It's 20 seconds, I think. The tier one is 30, tier two is 20, tier three is 10 seconds, which, um, I think that's something you see a lot in these items that they wanted to add something cool. Look at that, by the way. You see that? You see the the test screen on the on the video camera screen? I think they did that a lot with these items that they wanted to add something cool to the item, but they reserved that for tier three. So the tier two kind of gets shafted 
in this like middle area where you're like trying to move through it quickly to get to the cool stuff like the tier one items are fun they're new they're novel uh, the tier two items we've already seen them you want to try and get through that as fast as possible to get to the tier three um the salt tier two doesn't do anything tier three gives you like infinite sprint for 10 seconds it's amazing uh the candle is also another example of an item just straight up being full on worse let me actually go in there by the way um full on worse than the than the item used to be before the update before the update we don't even you don't even might not even remember that at this point um oh i need to turn on the break of course before the update candles used to prevent your sanity 100 percent you would not drain a single percentage of sanity. Uh, did I say salt? Salt gives speed. Did I say, I meant sanity pills. Um, I was pointing at the sanity pills. I was talking about the sanity pills, but I said the word. Streamer said wrong word. Streamer, you said wrong word. I don't understand anymore. <laughs> Rain explodes. I was obviously talking about the sanity pills. I was pointing at them. I was talking at them before. <laughs> anyway, now that we have solved this absolute mystery of me saying wrong word. Um, yes, I was talking about the sanity pills. The salt is amazing. Um, let me see. I heard something up here. 11 degrees. I don't think I would use the... T I'm just trying to... This is the build I would run if I was using tier 1 items. I would bring in the, the tier 1 thermo because it is an incredible tool to find the ghost room. Uh, I don't know if I... Like, th this is just so slow, man. Oh, it's here. I already saw it. Let's see if the... Th the thermo tells me it as well. Obviously, you can see this uh, thing is on the in a different spot that it's not supposed to be. It's actually already freezing breath here, of course, because it was below, yeah, below five already. Um, what was I saying though? You guys distracted me from what I was, I was saying some normal stuff and then you made me say useless stuff. Oh yeah, candles. Candles used to give you 100% sanity prevention. Absolutely busted. They were horrendously broken. So obviously they needed nerfing. Even the tier three candle is worse than the than the normal candle before the update. They were just like, they took a look at them and they were like, holy shit, why did we leave this in the game for so long? We're insane. We have like left this completely broken item in the game for far too long and they just nerfed it out of existence. <laughs> like the, I never used, and I didn't used to use it for uh, sanity prevention much anyway. Uh, but yeah, the old candles used to have they were infinitely reusable. Uh, they didn't like burn up. Uh, the, the tier three candle also doesn't burn up now, uh, by the way. So that is uh, its major advantage. Um, but they even the tier three only prevents your sanity by from draining by 66%. Almost half of what it used to, which was 100. Like, oh baby, look at this is it's just an insult man how the fuck is this thing so bad so why do i hate the tier i i really hope we would see what's the orb i really hope we would see fingerprints so i could r really show you how annoying i find the uv light the uv has every is it's everything is wrong with this thing especially compared to the tier one i literally think that they if they wanted to ba if they want to balance this they should like make the tier the glow stick the tier two item and the uv light the tier one item um, because, so basically how this works, the new fingerprints, you have to charge them. Let's say that there was a fingerprint right here. If I want to take a photo of the fingerprint, obviously if I point this at it, I can see the fingerprint. That's not the problem. That's the thing with every one of the UVs. If you just point it at the fingerprint, you'll immediately see the fingerprint, fingerprint, that's it. But if you want to take a photo, which is a very important thing for like getting lots of money, you have to charge the fingerprint, which you do by shining the UV light on it. Now, if you are using the tier two UV, that takes so fucking long. It takes like three to four seconds or something to charge the fingerprint. So you just got to point it at it for like three seconds. If you mistime it, if you ch change away too early, it's gonna like immediately go away and you're gonna have to go again. So you should actually wait for like five seconds just to be sure that it charged up and then you can take a photo. With the tier one glow sticks, you literally just point it at it. Oh, there's a fingerprint. Throw it on the ground, take a photo. You don't have to charge anything. You don't have to do any bullshit. You just throw it on the ground, immediately take a photo. Um, 
the reason why I think that the tier three is kind of okay is because um, it uh, it charges really fast. It has a bigger cone of light and it has further range and it charges like within a second. You point it at it for a second, boom, you immediately see it. Now, I still think that the tier one glow stick is an absolute champion when it comes to getting footstep photos because all you have to do is just place some salt on the ground the ghost steps in it you throw the you the glow stick on the salt and you see all of the footsteps in this like huge radius you don't have to shine the light on it at all um what do we need to do repel crucifix let's take the crucifix let's also take the actually wait, how many modes does this one have wait does this one out of wait i need to see this is the tier two sound sensor uh, does this even have different modes? I'm right clicking. It's not doing anything. Wait, I don't think it has different modes. Really? <laughs> Wait, it's only the tier three that has different modes. What the fuck? That's another example of something cool that they wanted to add and they just decided to, sh to like uh, Shaft the tier two items and just only add it to the tier three I think that's just something that's so common for these items. It is for the sanity pills or the salt if you <laughs> sanity pills uh, sorry, I've, I shouldn't be trying to be confusing on purpose. But the sanity pills for the crucifix. The crucifix doesn't have the like cool curse possession prevention. The uh, stunning of this this smudge sticks. The tier two smudge sticks are oh, okay. I personally don't like using the tier two smudge sticks because they mess with my brain. Like the hunts are so important for figuring out what ghost it is because of its speed and other abilities that if you start messing with that by using a smudge stick by either stunning it or uh slowing it it just makes it harder to detect the ghost so i actually prefer the tier one smudge sticks over any of the other tiers um the tier two tier two per Paramike is just like boring. It's the old one and it's actually horrendous because they made it's another one They made worse uh, Before the update they made the whole paramike worse by the way paramikes are now like basically unusable uh, Before the update paramikes had an incredible bug attached to it Which is that there was a bug where the ghost would leave a like permanent beacon of sound Coming from the ghost room. So all you had to do to find um the fine yeah you can make this the range bigger on the truck by the way of the sound sensor but that's 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 it um that you fly uh what was i saying so oh alarm uh the the what what you would do with the paramic is literally just point the paramic at the ghost room and you immediately know boom there's the ghost room it was so strong. It was incredibly powerful. But sadly, with this update, they have also fixed that bug, which means that now, in my opinion, the paramikes are back into dumpster tier. Do not use the paramikes to find the ghost room. Not even on big maps, I am telling you. Maybe if you have the tier three paramike on a big map, it could be useful. It's ghost riding. But um, that is the only scenario in which I would do it. And even the tier three, what the fuck? It's it's freezing and ghost riding. Uh, we have a revenant demon more. This is gonna be. Is it another shade? Are we really gonna have two shades in a row? For <laughs> are you fucking joking? Here? Um, the tier two thermo is OP, dude. Let's go. Um, yeah, the other the the tier one paramic and the tier two are completely horrendous. The tier three, however, is kind of it's kind of fun, right? Having that like radar thing on it. It's just the problem with the radar is that it only shows the values for like a split second like if you blink you miss it which is like really stupid because the whole idea i feel of that dish is to point it around and like oh it's like to to use it as kind of a radar detector and to pinpoint where the ghost is but if you like don't see it right away it's gone and you can't see it again you need to wait for another sound and obviously the bed the downside of all the paramics now is that they muffle the rest of the sounds which mean the ghost could literally be doing a ghost event right behind you screaming in your ears and you wouldn't hear any of it because you got the headset on which just means it's like it's horrible it's like i don't know how to i would never use the paramic outside of wanting to do the paramic objective that's all um anyway we got the um I will be taking this. We got the we got the evidence. You can obviously take salt, which by the way, another thing that makes the tier three salt so so good is that you can there's nine pieces of salt total 
in all of them. You can stack those on top of each other in one spot. The ghost walks on it during a hunt and you can take nine photos in one go. If you take the bone photo as well, with those alone, you have 10 three-star photos. Now, obviously that's very cheesy, but with the state of the photo system right now, you be as cheesy as you want to try and get 10, star, 10 three-star photos because the photo system is a train wreck sometimes like you'll be taking a photo of a ghost and suddenly it says no oh, it's a it's a tier two inter a two star interaction photo go fuck yourself like it's just really stupid so right now we have to like use everything we can to take as many photos as possible uh what is my cursed possession it's not a music box uh is it monkey paw in that room i don't think so i would have seen that um is it did we already see this Board, maybe? Board. Okay, we can get a hunt. Um, the lighter? It's just an improvement. It's It has... I think you can use it for five minutes. Now, I will. I want to show you this because I think there's actually a bug with the lighter. Let me see. Uh, I have two, so I can waste one of them. Uh, there's a bug where if you spam it on and off... I don't know if this is a bug. But if you spam it on and off, it, like, goes empty really quickly or it might not do that let's see what i did was this i just right click spammed turn off and on the candles and event yeah look at that and now it's empty the lighter is empty i don't know why that must be bugged right because now it doesn't do anything it's broken i that it should last for it should last for five minutes you can still see the fluid too right you can still see the fluid and it lasts for, it should last for five minutes. So I, I can't seem to move the fluid around. Let's compare this one to the other one to see if it's any different. Um, I don't know. It's pretty realistic that it runs out, but I feel like, like, I feel like it's not supposed to. <laughs> um, just like, yeah, look, it's the exact same. You don't see any difference in the lighter fluid. I need to actually separate this so I don't accidentally pick up the wrong one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what that is about. Um, maybe there's like a limited amount of times you can light it. Uh, yeah, this one still works. Good stuff. Uh, get that out of here. It's time to say... I don't have... Wait, goodbye. Goodbye. So yeah, I did... You also obviously have that problem if you're using the... The, uh, the tier one. Because that one has a limited amount of uses. Uh, it can light the candle 20 times. I light, I lit it. I felt like I lit it way more than 20, but maybe. Um, take that. Take the other salt. I don't really need anything else. I'll take the photo cam, though, so I can take this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just a little weird thing. I was I literally just accidentally ran into that because I was, like, just spamming the light switch for no reason or spamming the candles on and off. You, as long as you don't do that, you don't run into that situation and you shouldn't be okay let's get a hunt and actually finish this contract so we are looking for a revenant demon it's definitely not a demon or i am like the sanity master which i might actually be the sanity master right because i haven't really stayed in the dark at all uh so how about we say how insane am i normal not very okay um how insane am I? How insane am I? Not a Moroi, because it's four spirit bucks, yeah. How insane am I? How insane am I? Is it ever going to say something different? How insane am I? Shouldn't it? Am I insane? Maybe. Am I insane? I don't know. How insane am I? How insane am I? It literally says not very every time. Is it... Is this drain sanity? This should drain sanity, right? Where are you? Goodbye. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, anyway, whatever. Uh, can you please hum me? Maybe it's just gonna be a revenant. I feel like this has gotta be another shade. I feel like we got two shades in a row. Um, 
I just I find it so funny that they actively downgraded the tier two items so that the tier three items feel better as if the tier three items needed to feel any better like the when you first unlock the tier three items it's like heaven opens itself to you it's like oh my god these items are awesome the tier three flashlight when I first got that I was like holy shit I am having like a high beam flashlight why is it it's not hunting still um this is such a shade. I'm just gonna break the break the board. Uh, where are you? Is this thing. Hello. Oh, there it is. It's definitely not a walk through the salt. Oh, you're a tiny, tiny, tiny ghost. Smudge it. Run. So, let me know. Have you do? Are you a fan of the like? What what is your favorite smudge stick? Do you? Do you make good use of the slowing effect? Because I can see like a certain play style would benefit a lot from the tier two smudge stick. Like if you are the run and hide play style, like every time you smudge the ghost, you run away. I just tend to loop the ghost a lot. Um, so I tend to prefer not messing with the speed of the ghost. Um, it kind of depends, I guess. Uh, the tier The tier three can be nice for taking a photo during a hunt. Um, cause you can stun the ghost and then spam the photo cam, right? Just keep it in one spot. Uh, the tier three used to be really bad because while you had it smudged, it would still speed up during the hunt, but it doesn't do that anymore. Like it only starts speeding up again once it's done with its animation. This has to be another shade, right? Because, uh, if this is, a, it's not a revenant, obviously, and if this is a demon, I'm going to lose my mind. Um... This is the most shy ghost of this is like usually when I do uh what <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> are you serious I am I am floored <laughs> all right well uh turns out this was actually a demon <laughs> that is Probably the last thing I expected. I would have put so much money on that not being a demon. I would have lost everything. That's why you don't gamble, kids. Because even if you think you're smart, you're stupid. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's see. Which items have we not talked about? It's just a shame that they fixed that bug with the with the pair mic. It was going to happen eventually that they were going to fix that bug. Uh, it's just that I wish it wouldn't have been yet. Because it would have been so cool. Having the sonar of the tier three with the the bug of the ghost room, like giving that value would have been so OP. You would have literally walked into the map, seen a, a, re a reading on the sonar, and then like, boom, you found it. Yeah, the motion sensor. The motion sensor is definitely one. I, I, let's find the ghost room first. And then the, because the motion sensor, I think is another example of an item that's actually good. So yeah, as you can see, what I said in the beginning, not all tier two items are bad. I think they feel bad in my opinion, at least to me, as someone who has played like thousands of hours of this game, uh, because they're just like, they're the same items I'm already used to, but what? But worse? Is this a wraith? Can it be? Yes. What the fuck? Uh, the same items I'm already used to, but worse, um, which just feels bad. What the hell was that? <laughs> um, I'm I'm confused. My my brain short circuited because I was like, what the heck? Uh, did I check for mirror here? Okami, thank you for the tier three six months in advance. Holy shit! Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's Voodoo Doll here. I don't. Th I think this might just be a wraith or something. Uh, anyway, let's let's drop this stuff. Bring in. Okay, it's in the basement. <laughs> ah, it's in the basement. Look at that mannequin. What the hell are you doing over here? Um. It is... The tier 2 motion sensor is really nice. I I used to say that the tier 2 motion sensor was better than the tier 3. I don't think that anymore because there's actually a really cool trick that you can do with the tier 3 motion sensor that you cannot do with the tier 2, which makes it super strong, but it might be a bug, so they might fix it at some point. Um, but anyway, let's just take this in here. Uh, take in the basic stuff, put that down. Basically, why is the tier 2 motion sensor so cool? Because it has a special mode that you actually do need to turn on. So you might not know that if you've never clicked on it. If you place it, it has a laser similar to the tier one. However, if you click on it again, two lasers. 
two lasers and this is way more impactful than you might think initially because what's the big problem with the motion sensor the tier one motion sensor if it beeps you have some information you know the ghost touched it but you don't know if it went this way did it go that way did it go that way maybe even like you don't know where it went whereas if you have the double laser let's say it goes that way you can see this one turns on first then this one turns on so you see boom boom i kind of wish that they were a little longer that they stayed lit up for longer so you can see if you place it on like a door or something like if i place it i can't place it right here willow is like the worst map for this because all of the doorways don't allow you to place it in it but whatever um if you place it on like a doorway boom boom you know if it's walking in or out of the room which before that this was a thing you had to place two motion sensors to accomplish the same thing you would i would place two motion sensors next to each other so then you could see the order in which they lit up but now that's just built into one which is really cool um additionally let's say it steps on it and then doesn't walk forward or walks this way the second one doesn't lit up light up so you, if it only touches one, you know it's like here or there or something um, until it touches this one. By the way, a trick with all of the, or with the tier two and the tier one motion sensor, that's really cool. It, it doesn't work on the player, but if the ghost steps on it, oh no, it does work on the player, look at that. So when something steps on the motion sensor, you can see how the laser stops at what it hits. The laser stops right here. That's because it touches me, obviously. That same thing counts for the ghost. So if you have the, the laser touch the ghost and it stands still, the light will stay turned on and the laser will just hit the ghost. So you know exactly where the ghost is, which can be used to get spirit box and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that is, uh, that's really neat. Aaron, thank you for the sub. I think just the sanity system is so OP that last game, it felt like it must, what the hell? <laughs> it's totally a wraith, dude. Are you, wait. It's not a Goryeo. What the fuck is going on, dude? These, this is like the opposite of what I usually do. Uh, well, I guess we had a shade. But like usually when I do a guide, the ghosts are insane, uh, like completely insane. They hunt or try to do everything to ruin my my talking points because they just like to go crazy. Uh, whereas these ghosts are just like, here you go. Take the evidence. Uh, by the way. Tier two, I didn't actually say, so the motion sensor, I, I like the motion sensor. And what I was saying again is that the tier two items, they're some, they're most of the time they're better, but sometimes they aren't and they just feel kind of boring, especially because some of them are downgraded compared to what we used to have. Another example of an item that actually got downgraded compared to what it was before is the dots. Even though I really love the tier two dots, and I said it was probably one of my favorite tier two items, uh, it's still worse than the version of the dots we used to have before the update. Why is that? Because it does the exact same thing. That's because dots has changed. Dots is now harder to get, or at least it's felt harder for me for a long time. I've been getting really successful. I've been getting a lot of dots this particular day. So I don't know, maybe it's just, it depends on the day if it works well or not. Um, but basically, uh, the dot system used to be exactly like the writing system, where if the ghost does an interaction, it has a chance to do a dots interaction instead. Whereas now, it's a completely overhauled system. The dots can decide to go into dots mode, which is where it turns its... where it, uh, like, still walks around randomly and does stuff invisible because the ghost is actually there. I don't know. If, I don't talk about this very frequently, uh, but I it's just something that is so, like, baked into my brain that I don't ever say it. But I assume if you start playing Phasma for the first time, you might not know. The ghost is somewhere at all times. It's not like an invisible presence that only appears for ghost events and hunts. The ghost is physically walking here right now. It's just invisible to us. So what happens is during the, while with the new dots, the ghost can decide to go into dots mode, which if it at that point walks through dots, it will be visible with the dots. However, that's no that means it's no longer an interaction that you can force with like the voodoo doll or the tarot cards or uh, like you can place more of them. Placing more of them will make you cover the room more thus see dots more but it's not like before where if you place two dots you would literally double your chance to get dots because there was just two items that the ghost could interact with that is not the case anymore um but yeah it's just it's just gone slightly harder to get dots overall 
which men means that uh the dots projector has gotten slightly worse but the tier one dots is so much worse so yeah that's why uh i don't really mind or i i really like the tier two dots is it gonna be freezing again it's really trying to convince us that the tier no it can't because it well it's one degree in a minute 1.5 it feels like this one is more accurate than the tier three am i going insane it feels like i'm getting no okay there you go that's that's what i'm used to seeing with the tier three that it gives you like a huge range it gave me a 3.9 there what the fuck okay never mind so yeah it gives you this like super large range around the actual temperature that is just so annoying i could just it just like it makes it harder to know when the ghost is roaming it makes it harder to get freezing it's just so bad all around uh, a lot of the, the uh, a lot of people think that uh let's say that you're you get into the house you find the ghost room at that point people think like okay i know where the ghost room is the tier two thermo has to be better now because i can immediately see the the temperature well first of all you can't immediately see it you have to wait a few seconds and Thirdly, or most importantly, uh, the temperature goes down super slowly now. It used to go down way faster, uh, and now it only goes down by 30% of what it used to, which means that you're actually kind of... Look at this, by the way. It was standing right there. Did you see that? You saw the... <laughs> the. Do we please have fingerprints? No, I was really hoping we had fingerprints. Um, do we... Oh, no, we already have the evidence. Never mind. What am I doing? Um, the... Uh, you're not actually waiting for the tier one thermo to go down to freezing temperatures. You're just waiting for the ghost to do that because the ghost lowers the temperature over a really long period. Uh, so yeah, the tier one is never the bottleneck. The tier one is the tier one is lo love. The tier one is life. Uh, we are starting a cult over here. I've been I've been trying to initiate everyone. Uh, firelight, sure, we'll do that. Uh, there's actually something nice with the candles that they changed. Uh, repel that as well and then photo of the ghost i like you can get a dots photo of the ghost which counts um you can take photos of the of the candles being blown out which is really neat another thing that's neat is that the candles don't go you know how so the candles had infinite uses before the update however they um they would periodically just go out by themselves which was really annoying they would just go out like by themselves after like a few minutes they don't do that anymore they only go out when they're completely burned up uh it's a it's probably wraith right let's get salt um which is uh <clears throat> which is kind of neat because that means that if you're dealing with an on rio it's no longer gonna be super confusing did it just blow out that candle or did it go out by itself like what the fuck is going on uh let's take this take this this one uh and sure we'll take this it does not count as three candles being blown out. No, no, no. That would be crazy. But it is a neat way to fill up your book really quickly. I don't really know why you would need it because you can just use salt instead. Like once you have the tier two salt, uh, you don't need anything anymore because you can just place salt. Unless you're dealing with a wraith, which I might be here. Who knows? It blew out the candle. Look at that. So you know for sure that the candle's been blown out because it's turned off, right? I'm going to place this here. <coughs> Oh, it's not a wraith. Surprising. Oni Raichu. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna just... Should really... Should place more salt in the same spot. Uh, take the photos. Beautiful. What is my cursed position again? I forgot. It's not this. It's not down here. Uh, I guess it's time to do cursed position shenanigans. I could take a photo during the hunt. Um... Which will be kind of tricky, but let, let's give it a shot. Because this is actually an advantage that the tier uh, two photo cam has over the tier tier one, is that it's slightly faster during a hunt, so you can take a photo easier. I find it so funny that they, wait, what? I find it so stupid that they made the tier two flashlight so much worse than it used to be before the update. I find that very annoying. Like. I know you unlock the tier 3 pretty quickly, but it feels unnecessary. Because it's art. Like, the game has gotten so much darker. Like, look at this. This is so stupid. Like, if I... 
if I had like the, I have lights in front of me, obviously, so you can see my face. But if I had my window open and the sunlight was breaking through the window, like I wouldn't be able to see anything. Like you can barely see uh, in front of you using the tier two. Like you really need the tier three. I almost think like it's not even like any better than the tier one almost. Like I know the tier one has that like ugly yellow tint to it, but I just don't know why they made it like so much worse than it used to be. Uh, Regardless, let's do. I if I wish for sanity, he's gonna move around, which is gonna be kind of annoying. But whatever, I wish for sanity. Alrighty. Uh, so that means if you when you wish for sanity, you set your sanity to fifty percent, but you also uh, change the ghost room. Still stepping on the motion sensor. I can actually hear that from here. That's kind of sick. Uh, I'm gonna try and be in the darkness so I can drain some more sanity. Uh, we can repel the ghost. That'll be just fine. Uh, by the way, this is this is a, it's a, not nothing related to the items, but this can be a really neat way to find the ghost room, um, because there's only a few rooms that have. If you see a teddy bear or mannequin out of place, your first instinct might be, "I found the ghost room," because there's an item here that's not supposed to be there. That's not the case. Uh, you should instead think, where does this item come from? Because the way these interactions work... Oh, God, it's haunting. Uh, I should be careful. Oh, God. Uh, never, I'll talk about that a little more in a sec. It's definitely a Raichu. Ah! Dots! 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 No! Help! I'm gonna be dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, so if you're unfamiliar with what's going on right now, uh, so I explained that earlier, right? How dots works. The ghost can decide to go into dots mode and then show itself on the dots. If the ghost goes into dots mode and then decides to hunt while in dots mode, it's gonna be in dots mode for the entirety of the hunt, which means it's gonna be completely invisible unless you have a dots projector around, which, you know what? If that happens again, we should place a dot. Wait, let's place a dots projector right here. How cool would that be to be chased by dots? <laughs> That'd be sick. So yeah, it's a really cool bug that I would, I kind of wish they would add as like a special Gorio ability because it might make Gorio, if that would be added to Gorio as something they could like do rarely, it might genuinely make them like one of the most dangerous ghosts in the game. Cause that is like so sneaky. It's so sneaky. Uh, there I could have easily died if the ghost decided to chase me. Uh, but yeah, the reason why they didn't want to add it or at least their first response was, oh, that would be way too obvious. I I'm like, well, it would be way too obvious cause you're fucking dead. It's like how it, oh God. Okay. It's, down it's such a right you. Oh, fuck. I write you. Take a smudge. Chill. Ah, I'm gonna die. Smudge. Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay. I got the ghost photo. Let's go. Stay away from me, dude. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the, the way I knew it was a right you, even when... Uh, it was doing the dots hunt, by the way, was because my flashlight was blinking way before, like, the ghost was even close, even though, obviously, I couldn't see the ghost, so I didn't really know if it was close. Uh, but as I was saying, if you see a mannequin or a teddy bear out of place, you should instead uh, think, where does this thing come from? Because the way those interactions work is that if the ghost is in a room with a mannequin, it can teleport that mannequin out of the room. It can't like teleport a mannequin into its room so yeah that's how it works so it, if it you need to go to where the mannequin is minute missing same with the um with the teddy bears if a ghost is in a room with a teddy bear it can teleport it away same with the bunny it can also teleport that one away same with a ball as well the, it can teleport the ball away so if you see a ball roll down the stairs don't go okay it's upstairs it just rolled the ball down go wait a minute Where's this ball come from? Because that's going to be the ghost room. It's just like a really neat thing that you sometimes... Because uh, some, sometimes I like see a specific thing and I immediately know, okay, that's the... Like, this is the ghost room for some special reason. Let's go back to Tanglewood. Uh, another game. I... 
I just think that like because it was especially bad when I was playing on the update for the first time. I was like, when I first started playing with all the tier one item, I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. Like the, the tier one thermo is super new. The tier one EMF is super fun because it's like this weird thing. By the way, the tier one EMF is absolutely God awful. I think the tier two is a huge improvement because the tier one, uh, it's a bug by the way, they're going to fix this soon. But the tier one uh, can sometimes show you EMF five when it's not actually emf5 now if you know what you're looking for you won't get fooled by it but it can basically like be so like act like moving back and forth that it will touch emf5 really quickly and then go back which might make people think oh it's the it's emf5 but uh it's only emf5 when it like actively goes beyond emf5 and it makes this like really loud noise uh but i can know i can see why that is um why that can be tricky it touched the door i also have the mirror bathroom alrighty then and it touches the door really please give me thingies i really want it's like a poltergeist or something i really want to show how terrible the tier 2 uv is because it's like insulting it's insultingly bad let's hope it is take this let's also place it on the tripod even though i don't think it's good but i just want to show you how you can move it around um and i just realized that i was Oh god, what the fuck? That's a grandma. Okay, well, my sanity is done for. No! It's not freaking. Where are you? Are you. Okay, we got Spirit Box. It's doing so many things. It could definitely be a poltergeist. Um, Where's my. There's the thermo. It's already cold in here six degrees well it's definitely lower than five degrees because it's on my freezing breath you dickhead when are you gonna show that there we go 3.5 takes you like three times before you even see like close to the actual temperature um yeah, i know people never use the tier two glow stick but the whole idea here is that we show why that's the case tier tier uh, the lighter again like i they made it worse by introducing new mechanics right they made it worse by introducing the mechanic that it can run out of fuel which i think is fine and immersive and like totally okay like it it's never really a problem even the tier one lighter doesn't matter for me personally because i never use it that many times to run out of matches so it's just a more immersive thing but technically it is worse uh, is it in my five uh you give us a sign and i think that's kind of because they have like made the game more complex with this last update it is writing it could very much i think this is a poltergeist and i want to see a polter tornado in the it can't be uh no it can be these guys because it was spare box um polter tornado in the kitchen over here because it has just been non-stop throwing things but you can sometimes also just have a more aggressive ghost. I need to add the cock, of course. Very important. The cock tornado. So damn though. I should really put on... The this is where the headcam would be kind of nice. So you can have three empty inventory slots to throw it around. Like, I, I can see why people enjoy the tier 2 headcam. But I simply agree to disagree that there's people out there like people say that they like the tier 2 headcam more than the tier 3 and i just have to wonder why like what why i just don't get it at all uh because it's like better in pretty like every conceivable way like the only thing that i could see is slightly worse about the tier the fov yeah the fov there's two things then the fov is one uh and the second one is that it is harder to manage your sanity properly while using the night vision. Because with the night vision, you get this like, oh, the room is bright. I can see that the room is lit up because of my night vision. But then you forget that the room is actually dark. So you lose, san you're still losing sanity. Um, yeah, I just, I, I can see that. Here one is, is trippy. It's so good though. Like I, I, because people are like the tier two headcam 
makes me not have to use a flashlight. Like I, I hate the tier two. Uh, like let, let's compare these two. Let's let's grab the the Hecam again. It's blinking lights. Because I don't feel like you can just walk around in the dark with a tier two headcam. Uh, the ghost is gonna go sicko mode here. Also, we should grab these. Do we need anything else? Lens to ghost motion sensor. We got that all set up, and we can get all the photos with this. We just need to get the bone, and we got a perfect game. Does the headcam glitch out during the hunt? I actually don't know. It's just so hard to see that you have it turned on when you're in a room that's lit up, which makes me like get screwed over during hunts by accidentally leaving it on. Why are you here? Can you stay there? Wait, did you even? St Wait, actually. No, you dickhead! Wait, so it teleported to me because it didn't even step on the motion sensor. But none of these ghosts can teleport. What the fuck is going on? Ayo right, Kim, thank you for the five. Uh, so let's see. If we were to... Okay, there we go. I mean, I guess you can walk around with this. But like, I guess it depends on how bright your monitor is. I am playing on 1.8 brightness. I guess if you play on like 4 brightness. Yeah, I can see. If you play on 4 brightness, this is basically a normal flashlight. And it's almost... I mean, obviously, this is going to be brighter. Um, this this ghost is going crazy. So if you play on really high brightness, I can see that uh, being relatively good. I just don't tend to do that. Just that I really hate how you have to turn it off and on. Can you please? I need to be careful here. Tornado time. Can you please hunt me? I guess we're going to just spam this. And not an Oni, but it couldn't be anyway. Level. Let's take this time to quickly take nine photos. 1.8 brightness. I don't know why. I used to run at 2.5, but then they made the brightness brighter. Like, if you turn on the brightness, it gets brighter. I need to make sure not to take too many photos. 1.5. I, I feel like there's a lot of settings where the default settings make no sense. For example, I think the, the default setting of the cursor brightness is like isn't it like a, a just a hundred percent you can barely see your cursor like if you have it even remotely against a bright surface you just cannot look at that you my cursor's gone it's gone it's 200 percent now it used to be a hundred percent okay it's 200 percent now still though my cursor is gone where's my cursor you cannot see it it's just completely invisible on this floor whereas if you turn it up to 500 percent you can't see it. It's still hard, but you can see it. So I don't know. Same thing with the FOV. I don't know why the FOV by default. I mean, I, they have made the game. They have balanced it around 60 FOV. You can see it with all... Like, look at this thumb. This thumb looks way more normal than if I turn up the FOV to 90. The thumb gets all fucked up and shit. Um, I just don't know why they don't make the default FOV 90. It's just, like, so much worse to play with 60 FOV. It's, like, hugely zoomed-in screen. Just annoying. Uh, all right, please, buddy. Your, you moved, moved ghost room. Uh, you're a dickhead. Okay, there we go. Normal speed. Can't be, can't be this, can't be this. No, come over here. Oh, that was a big throw. I wanna see the tornado. For sure, go negative. What? Can you please come out of here? Why are you in the basement? Come on, man. Here we go. Tornado time. Uh, how, this is not a poltergeist? What the fuck? Alright, well, then I have to smudge. Uh, I sm oh, I have to. Do, uh, I smudged at 935. Please calm down. Okay. Uh, well, definitely not a poltergeist. Definitely not these guys. So it's going to be a spirit or a mare. Uh, by the way, little trick with a mare. I'm going to be doing a video soon with a... I've, I've learned quite a few new tricks recently. Um, if you have a mare and turn on a light switch, there's a chance that it immediately turns that off. Uh, that is... Uh, this used to be really overpowered. You used to be able to just spam the shit out of the light switch until you got that ability that was so broken that they changed it now 
the system works like this. For every light switch, there's a cooldown. If I turn on the light switch, there's a chance the mayor turns it off if it's close to the ghost. Um, after you turn it on, there is a 10, 10 second, what the hell? Uh, a 10 second cooldown, I think. I remember, was it 10 seconds or was it 30 seconds? I think it was 10 seconds. A 10 second cooldown per person per light switch. So if there's multiple light switches like this around the ghost, you can go around, turn all of them on, and then by the time you've waited a few seconds, you can then once again, oh, turn off the brake. That sounded like a bolter throw. What? Was it wasn't? Was it this? What the fuck? Wait, it can't have been a bolter throw though. No, it wasn't one. I was just making sure that it didn't throw throw multiple items. Okay, uh, it's been one and a half minutes. Yes, I should also really uh, turn on the breaker, which is in the basement, which is gonna kill me potentially. Don't kill me. Um, I just can't wait to unlock the tier three items again. I also think that they I, I'm pretty sure they said this, uh, and, um, that they're gonna change the way the unlocks work. Um, they're gonna change it. Oh, God. They're gonna change it to make it. What the fuck? Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Look at that. Um, anyway, it's still not hunting. Is this a spirit? They're going to make it so that the unlocks are... Uh, you unlock the last item earlier, basically. So that you... And then when you unlock items, you unlock multiple at the same time. I don't know if it's like exactly going to work like this, but this is what a lot of people have suggested. And I think it's a really good idea. You are such a spirit or you're a piece of garbage. It's been... It's been three minutes. It's been three minutes since you haunted. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because um, right now, the problem with the system is that you can unlock every item as soon as you unlock it. Like you unlock a new item, you buy it. Boom. There's no choice. What the intention of the system is that you are actively making choices all the time. Like you, do I want to, wait, I need to fill in spirit. Do I want to buy this item or that item? So if it were to give you three items at the same time, but they were like too expensive to buy all at once, you would actually have to make interesting choices. I think that would be really cool. Um, but I know for uh, almost surely a fact that they are going to at least tweak it in some way. I don't know if they're exactly doing that, but they are changing it in some way. Let's do Ridgeview. Ridgeview is such a nice map. Um, there's also the feedback channel now, by the way, if you want to share some feedback in the Phasmophobia Discord about what you think they can change with the update. Because they haven't done the 9.1 update yet. The 9.1 update is gonna uh, be a fairly juicy update. I don't know if you, like, if you're unfamiliar with the way that the Phasmo update system works, is that they do a big update then they do a bunch of bug fixes and then like a month or two after which so far it's it's been already quite a long time since so this is definitely one of their uh longest waits or one of the longest we've had to wait between the major update and then the mini update after they do this mini update right after a major update uh that includes a bunch of features they had to scrap for time for the major update um because if they were to do everything uh, for the major update, the major update would never get done. It would take forever. What the fuck? It would take forever to get it done. So they just like scrap some features, put that in the in the mini update after uh, to speed up things, which I think is a really clever choice. So yeah, we're getting that mini update probably, I think it's in the dining room, probably around... Uh, like right before Halloween, because that's gonna be when the console update hits. The console update's gonna launch. Halloween update's probably gonna launch. I really hope that they're still gonna have time. I know they're working on the console update. I know they're working on the uh, the mini update, but for the love of God, please still give us a Halloween event. Like, it would be so such a shame. Because if they don't do it this year, it's like a precedent, right? They set a precedent that they're not gonna do it every year. It would be so nice to have, at like, after... Like five years of Phasmo, we're gonna have this like super cool trophy cabinet that's gonna have like one trophy for each year. 
of of phasmo's uh development it will be super cool so if they were to skip it this year then like who who says that we will ever get another event with trophies ever again like obviously they're gonna do some but that means they're gonna be extremely rare so i really hope that they're gonna make it a priority to do um to do the halloween event like i know the console maybe this is like a really unique situation because they're obviously doing something massive with the console update but man would it be a shame if we didn't get a trophy this year um i guess they would do one for easter then like it doesn't even have to be a big one just a new trophy new badge that's it i mean obviously that's gonna make keep cj busy for a little while because he's gonna make those uh but i feel like that's totally worth i hate this oh it's definitely here Wait, let's see. Please be thingies, finally. No, dude, we're never gonna get thingies. Well, I mean... the It's just like, you if you've ever used the tier 2, you know how bad it is compared to the glow stick. You literally just throw the glow stick on the ground, take a photo for the tier 2, you have to, like, shine it on there for so long. All right, well, anyway, it's obviously here. Is it in the dining? Uh, it seems to be. All right, place this on here. Place that. Turn that shit off. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? This is actually a very problematic room for Spirit Box because what you can't see here is that this is actually three rooms in like the like two meters distant from each other. This is a room. It's the entrance room. This is a room. It's the dining room. And this here somewhere starts the room of the living room. So it's like really unclear where each of the borders are, especially that this is a separate room is really confusing. You can see how, you can see that with the thermo here, how this is 14 degrees, yet this room right here is two degrees. Like this is a separate room, which what does that mean for the spirit box? That means that because the ghost is like walking around here, it's gonna be passing the room borders all the time. If you're not in the same room with a with the ghost, you will never get a spirit box response, which means that if the ghost like tiptoes into this area, where it's technically a different room, even though you're standing right next to it, it's not gonna respond on the spirit box, which is extremely annoying. Um, it's Orbeez, okay. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Like, I would say it's not spare box, but you don't really know. Um, maybe gonna be EMF. I don't really have anything more. Some ghosts just ignore you while you are talking and having a device on. Uh, no. All ghosts talk to you when you have spear box turned on i mean it just depends if they have the spear box evidence obviously it just depends on if they're in the same room as you are uh firelight any plans for tier or for granny two and three on extreme difficulty i don't think those games are meant for extreme difficulty because of the like multiple enemies it's it's either it's just going to be a complete rng fest if you can't even beat that i don't think that's fun it's not a fun challenge i think granny one extreme mode is a really fun challenge the other games, not so much. Um, they're still here, right? You can't check for what the ghost room is with the orbs, because the orbs are always going to be in the ghost room. Can you please, like, give me a sign or something? Wait, I... The place the dots. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Was that game of five? Game of normal? What a... I mean, I'm assuming it's not spare box. We're playing Nightmare mode, so that doesn't really help us much. Um, is it, a, it can be a Wraith, right? Because we got orbs. Um, I... What are we looking for here? Writing? Dots? EMF, maybe? What's our cursed possession? We didn't really explore around too much. Uh, Voodoo Doll would have been nice. It could be... No, it can't be a Goryeo. It could technically be an Obake. Wait a minute. Can you step in the salt? Like, if it didn't leave fingerprints there, it could still be an Obake. Um. Technically. 
Revenant would be obvious. Stay would be very unlikely. Uh, Raichu would be dots. We had a lot of dots earlier. This room is just really shitty. Because, um, like, the, the ghost can, like, so easily roam out of... Maybe it's freezing. And so easily roam out of the room. We had, like, a bunch of three degrees there. It's two degrees. Let me just spam it. Ah, this you see right there? 0 0.6. You saw that? That means it's freezing. And it still took us two tries before we got that. So, yeah, it's freezing. Uh, Revenant, you're a Hantu on Rio. Once again, the showcase of the tier 2 thermo being worse than tier 1. Um, I mean, at least it showed us in two tries. Okay, anyway. So, Revenant's gonna be obvious. Hunter's gonna be obvious on Rio. We grab candles, which the new candles are way better for this. Um, you can you can use the motion sensor, however, not really. Because motion sensors have to be placed on walls. There's no walls. That's the whole problem. The whole problem with these rooms is that there's no walls separating them from each other. So, the fact that the game has, like, these really, like, really strong, like, divisions between them in the code but they're not strongly divided in the actual space makes it very confusing um let's take this guy and this guy yeah, you can place it on that wall i guess but then it i guess you could place it on these two walls and maybe it'll work fine but it's also hard for us to know where the border is right that's the pro that's the other problem um yeah if it hits zero point something it's always freezing it will never go below one degree for other ghosts. Um, you have to be a bit careful doing that with the, the tier one. Because the tier one, it can sometimes look like it's going below one, but it's not actually. Uh, so just be a little careful with that. What do we need? Escape the ghost firelight. I'll take this to test for Unreal, potentially. If it blows out three candles and hunts right away, it's an Unreal, yes. Probably. Does it bother me when people exploit or cheat to get high prestige? I mean, cheating is stupid as hell. The exploit I find stupid as hell as well. Um, it's just that you're really... Like, if I were you, it would ruin the entire experience for me. But I'm not you, so you can do whatever you want. Like, I have always enjoyed having something to play towards and having these like all these prestiges to look forward to and slowly play through is really fun why would you skip that by torturing yourself for like several days playing something really boring where you're only gonna get the ghosts correct half the time to skip having fun like why would you have not fun to skip having fun it doesn't make any sense why would you play a boring version of the game to make sure that from that point onwards playing the game at all feels like a waste of time because you're not getting any levels it's just a, it's just a strange thing to me like i understand why you might do it for a little bit to get the items or to like to get the tier three items for the first time or like unlock some things uh or after you like prestige to, to do it a little bit to get a few extra items again but why you would like like go into grind mode and do it for until you reach the max level i just don't get it like, I, I get it for the people that did it for the first time, because it's like, it's like a YouTube thing. Like, first comes, first serves. Like, a lot of people, like, a lot of the... There's a, hundreds of freaking thousands, millions of content creators on YouTube. So if you can do something unique that sets you apart from the rest, that is like, an, that is like your competitive advantage that is gonna, like, make people watch your videos, potentially. So I understand it for the people that did it first. And maybe for people that are still doing it now because they can put it in, like, their... Okay, it's year right. <laughs> they can put it in, like, the the title of the stream. Like, it's... it's That's... I can see it for content creators. For content creators, it's, like, people might think, oh, this person is the highest level prestige of all time. It has to be, they have to be really good. Let me watch their videos. So that is like, it's totally, you gotta do what you gotta do to set yourself apart. Just if you're a casual player that doesn't like depend on Phasmo as their source of income, I just don't get why you would do that to yourself. That's all. And like, I wanna slowly experience it myself. Like I'm thinking, because I, I don't need to have that part of the competitive advantage anymore. I'm just chilling. I'm just having fun. Uh, so yeah, obviously that was, I can't scroll further down because the game is not allowing me. Um, what you saw right there, the door closed, the front door actually, which can only happen 
during ghost events, hunts, or if you have a Yure. Um, there, it was a Yure. It did the ability close the door because obviously it wasn't a ghost event. Obviously, it wasn't a hunt. Uh, all right, let's do our final run. I know we're not necessarily talking about the um, tier two items anymore. We're just having fun. We only leveled up one level. Dude, if you want to see a better way to level up, you should check out my video where I played uh, like optimal professional. That was like extreme professional mode. It was so fun. I got a higher reward than nightmare mode and it was like easier than nightmare mode. Um, the ability count as a ghost event? No. No, it's not gonna, for the objective or something. It's not going to count. Is that over here? It sounded like it was over here. For some reason, my ears sometimes play tricks on me. The bone was in the kitchen, by the way. Um, professional plus. Is it like here? Ah, I am a five. Please have fingies. We have played so many games in a row and we have gotten zero fingies. Can we get an Obaki? That would be amazing. All right, take this. I didn't even show you the, to, the, the tier two tripod yet. How you can move it around. It's just not useful ever. Um, don't be orbs, please. Okay, it's not orbs. Please. Let's go! Okay, okay, here we go. Finally, we got we got UV. We have EMF5 UV. Look at that. Not a Gorio. Jin Obake Miling. Okay, so now we can see, we can admire how bad the uh, tier 2 uh, UV is over the... Compared to the tier... Wait, we don't need anything more because we're already done. Compared to the tier one. Uh, let's see. Escape the ghost. Cleanse the ghost. All right, I'll, th I'll take that. What's wrong with the darkness? It's just very dark. The darkness is dark in this game now. It used to not be that. Fuck. Shut the hell up. Okay. Uh, so the way you have to take a photo of fingerprints is shine your are you serious it's really that bad but i need to turn on the breaker real quick please don't please don't turn it off or please don't remove the fingerprints i want to turn on the light real quick so i don't have to have my flashlight out because it makes it harder to see the fingerprints um which makes it harder to illustrate how bad this thing is um we'll drop this on the floor the way this works is you have to shine your flashlight on it, charge it. If you turn away at before it's fully charged, look at that. One, two, turn away. It So that was en long enough because it's three seconds, right? It's three seconds. But if you turn away too fast, it immediately goes away. Like you can't, you could probably take a photo. If you like moved really fast, you could take a photo. It just feels bad. Um, so I guess you could do that. You could like, what? What the fuck was that? You see that? It immediately disappeared. What was that? Excuse me? Wait. It only charges at all if you shine it on it. What the? This is so bad, man. It only charges if you, like, touch even the, the top of the index finger. You miss it. Look at that. This, the... Oh, it went away. God damn it. The top of the in index finger wasn't covered by my UV. It immediately disappeared as soon as I moved it away. So you have to cover the whole fingerprint and you have to charge it up. With the tier one, you don't have to do any of that shit. You're just fucking boom, throw it on the floor, take a photo. It's like, it's so stupid. <laughs> like it just makes no sense. Like the whole system get bypassed because you just throw the glow stick on the ground, take a photo. That's all. So yeah, finally we got, we got fingy so I could show you. Um, okay, so let's see. It could be Obake, could be Myling, could be Jin. Um, which all we have to do for that is just get a hunt. What do we got to do? Escape photo of the ghost. We can do that. Um, only time I upgraded tier 2 is to get to tier 3. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier. It's kind of silly that they require you to get the tier 2 to get the tier 3, but I guess that's just the way they decided to make it. EMF 5. Love the EMF 5. Did you touch this? so crazy to me that that is such a stupid that is gonna make taking thing footstep photos with this with the tier or with the glow uh with the uv the tier 2 uv almost impossible the fact that you have to like completely cover the thing even if you miss a tiny part of it like look at this this feels like it's completely covered up right nope it's not you're missing a tiny 
I'm missing literally the tiniest little part of it. Now I'm chart. You have to like, what the fuck? It changed. <laughs> you have to like back up to try and light it. If you miss even the smallest bit, what the hell? <laughs> it doesn't work. That's so stupid. <laughs> My God, it seems buggy. Yeah, kind of. Dude, what the hell is happening? Is this not an Obake? It feels like it shouldn't be. Considering we've been seeing so many fingerprints. Uh, is there a fingerprint on the guitar? There's not. That would be sick. Um, can take a photo of that though. Can you? Can. Take a photo of this. Charge it up. There you go. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> oh my god. It's so fucked up, man. Alright, get me out of here. We need to trigger a hunt. Um... I should... Do we have tarot cards? We haven't had tarot cards at all. Uh, don't be... Is it this thing? I didn't see that. Is it that guy? No. The Obake fingerprints doesn't have... It's it's a rare ability. It's not gonna do that every time. Wait, is it music box? Voodoo doll... I just checked. It's gotta be music box. Yeah, there it is. I don't have a flashlight. Where is that thing? It's over there. Okay, we can't take the ghost photo with this just fine. Then we don't even have to worry about anything. Let's go. Please don't break. The music box get bugged sometimes. No. No! You dickhead! I hate it, man. Why? It's so bugged. Fuck you. Oh my god. What the fuck? Now it worked? Why did that take so long? All right, I got the ghost photo. I should have one star ghost photo. Let's go, dude. That was so fucked. Hello? It's a gin. <laughs> That's so obvious. Gotta love the gin. Immediately gets like 10 times faster. Okay, I need to cleanse the ghost. Mudge it. Run. So that is nice about the tier 2. You can just run away. Run away easily. You will never be like chased completely. Gotta be careful. Because uh, that happens sometimes with the tier 1. I've died like that plenty of times where you smudge the ghost and then you run away, but the ghost chases your or tracks your exact uh steps somehow and then you die as soon as the timer runs out um this just sucks that they made the timer of the smudge stick lower by one second compared to another thing they made the smudge stick the shorter all across the board we didn't place this yet um i mean we placed it but then i didn't really look at it at all by the way there's a bug with this um the range on the sound sensor looks way bigger than it actually is Look at this. So this is this looks like the range. It's actually like 70% of this. Uh, this looks like the range. It's way smaller than this. I don't know why it's so. Uh, I would have. It's hard to test like the exact range on something. So like th there did pick up this. I mean this door probably right or maybe one of those maybe. Um, yeah I don't know. It's hard to test how far I can hear. But anyway that was that. Uh, do you agree? Do you agree that the tier two items are. I guess they're not necessarily underwhelming because they're just like the items we're already used to. But compared to like the novelty of the tier... Compared to the novelty of the tier 1 and the f like insanity of the tier 3. Like the tier 3 just has so many cool things going for it. And there's like very little of that. Like the tier 2 really don't have something that's like, holy shit, that's such a cool upgrade. Like they reserved all of that for the tier 3. Like they reserved... Uh, look at that, by the way, 1,500. They reserve the, the sanity, like, speed up for the tier 3, the slow down for the salt and the repelling. Like, they could have made the tier 2 already slow down, and then the tier 3... Uh, or maybe they could have done that the tier 2 salt already repels the ghost, um, and then the tier 3 additionally has a slowing effect. But no, they decided to do it all in on the tier 3. And I feel like they've done that, like, for a few items. I guess for the... 
for the smudge stick it has like an the smudge stick is like it has a slow effect it has like a slow effect that's actually something unique um but for the crucifix the tier three is something really cool the the paramic something really cool for the tier three uh i didn't even move this around I, you you get the gist right you just place it and then you move it around with the button on the screen it's like it's it's just you can't move the tripod obviously you can only change its rotation uh so yeah that's just that's why they feel underwhelming to me uh let me know what you think if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye